What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tunes. Wait, where's my... Like I was saying, welcome back to another episode of Tunes. It's the Halloween special, so we all dressed up, as you can see. I'm a Dodger. They just won the World Series. Shout out to them. Shout out to LA in general, because the Lakers also just won. I see you, Devontae. This week, though, it's only going to be three segments. Eric had to handle some personal stuff, but don't worry. We're going to hold it down. We still got three great songs by three great artists for you. Without further ado though, I'm gonna get right into today's episode. I'm gonna kick things off with my Cruise Control. All right, today for Cruise Control, we got a pretty cool artist. I'm not gonna lie, I find a lot of my artists, but this one, they put me on. I'm not gonna cap, I'm, I will not cap. They put me on. I love good music, so I was in the car, she was on the aux. Yes, I trust her that much. I let her get on the aux. And this came on. I was like, who is this? Like, this is actually sliding. And the song is by an artist named Quinn. The song is also featuring Black from Atlanta, but that's not what made me like the song. He was just an added bonus to an already good song. The song is very wavy. It's kind of trippy a little. It's called Mushroom Chocolate. Now, when I first heard the name of it, I was like, oh, this is definitely about some trippy stuff. But if you listen to the lyrics, it's mainly just about like finding somebody to love, like cuddle season shit, you feel me? Like it's cold outside, so this is the type of music you wanna hear. Quinn is from LA, and it's no surprise that most of the collabs she's done have been from LA artists like Miguel, G Easy. Well, G Easy's the babe, but Cali, um, Sid also. But this song with Black, crazy, and it's just a coincidence that that's the one I found was from an Atlanta artist, of course. I didn't even see if there is a visual, but Knowing how artists move, there probably is a visual to this. If not, there needs to be. I'm pretty sure there is though. The song is from her 2019 EP or project. I don't know if it's an EP or project. It's not like very long, so I'm gonna call it an EP called Lucid. The album art is crazy. It is one of those daytime or nighttime songs, so there's really no limits on it. Go ahead and run it up just like I am. It is on this week's playlist, so go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Now you guys need to be careful out there trick-or-treating. I don't know if it's even happening this year, but if it is, don't accept any strange candy. It might literally be mushroom chocolate and not the good kind like this song. I mean, if you're into that though, maybe you want it. All right, now it's time for your guys' favorite part. I already know. We're gonna get right into the track. This is Mushroom Chocolate by Quinn. Yo, 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 what up, what up? Welcome back to Shoons. Welcome back to the Underground. It's your boy, Kosi K. Yes, sir, Ski, Double O Ski, my bro, Ski. But unfortunately, today, my bro, Ski's not here. To be honest, I really don't know where he is. But it's all right, though. I got my boy Skirter with me. And if you didn't know, it's Halloween coming soon. So I am a Pokemon trainer. Now, what this is, this doesn't look like the average Pokeball. I know it's usually red and white. But all my real Pokemon OGs know this is a Master Ball. You feel me? A Master Ball. I actually caught a Mewtwo with that. The artist that I'm doing today for you guys, he goes by the name of 5AM. 5AM is an artist and producer, and he collabed with another artist and producer mostly known for producing named tm88 the song that i'm doing for you guys today is called track me and basically the song is just overall it's just a toxic song it's just like it reminds me of a, a situationship you everybody i know y'all had a situationship with a person where y'all know it wasn't gonna go anywhere it wasn't gonna get to that next relationship phase but y'all was just kind of doing the little you know y'all was doing a little but the whole situation was toxic, but it was kind of fun and enjoyable in a playful way. And this is what this song, Track Me, is about. He starts off, he says, running game, I feel like an athlete. So, you know, he's running game, so he's saying, I feel like an athlete. When I, I forgot the other part. <laughs> when I'm with the you same, saying, yeah, I'm hoping you don't catch me. When I'm with my main, I'm hoping you don't catch me. So he's saying, when I'm with my main, shorty, I'm hoping you don't... When I'm with my main shorty, when he's saying I'm hoping with my main shorty, I'm hoping you don't catch me, I'm hoping you don't pass me. So it's like a little bit of a competition and we've all been in some toxic situation where it's like you doing your thing with a shorty and you know she doing her thing with her mans and them. 
or whatever. But y'all is like, I don't know, feelings is getting involved and whatever. I know I'm going down a rabbit hole, but anyway. And uh, they actually came out with a whole project. They actually dropped a whole nine tape. And you know us, we usually don't plug the projects, but this is definitely worth checking out. I don't know if I mentioned this, he's from Atlanta as well. He's very underrated. But I mean, at this point, what did you expect? Make sure you put in the comments who you think has the best costume. I'm gonna just go ahead and say, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Christian. Um, you know, post Pokemon trainer swag, real basic, you know what I mean? Came through looking like a... Uh... Without further ado, this is Track Meet by your boy 5AM. I choose you, look like. <laughs> One game, I feel like an athlete. You wanna say, but I hope you don't catch me. And I'm with my main, I'm hoping you don't pass me. And I can't. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite host, and welcome to this week's episode of Foreign Flows. So first things first, before we even get into the song or any of the music or the artist, any of that jazz, y'all notice a farm's not here this week. I may look familiar to you, and no, I'm not Harry Potter. I'm actually his cousin, Henry Cootie, right? House Marleyon, you feel me? That one's new. You guys don't know about that one. It's coming in the next books. So if you didn't catch the reference, this week's artist we're gonna be talking about is Naira Marley, and he hails from none other than Nigeria. So as part of our uniforms, we gotta keep it on us. You know what that means. Go ahead and show you all. So just a little bit about Naira Marley. He was born in a Gege in Lagos State. At the age of 11, he moved to Peckham, London. You guys don't know about Peckham. Just know that boy's real. So the way to describe Naira Marley's voice, he has a very rasp voice, a very unconventional voice. Like when you hear his music, you know it's Naira Marley. And as well, every single one of his songs you can dance to. Which brings us to the point of discussion. The song we're gonna be talking about today is called As E Day Go. So I won't lie to you, Naira Marley, he speaks a lot of Yoruba in his songs, so I can't really understand what he's saying besides little bits and pieces of broken English that he throws in there. But I can speak on the beat and the vibes of the song. The vibes of the song are crazy. Um, they make you want to get up and dance. So before we move further, something I want all of y'all to do, I want y'all to get on YouTube and look up legwork. It's a popular style of dance that is, you know, commonly found in Western African culture. And this dance accompanies a lot of Naira Marley's songs. So Naira Marley, an artist that I would compare him to, I would say Travis Scott, hear me out. Obviously their music is completely different, but their followings are very similar. You know, people who support Travis Scott, they don't really have a, a name, but Naira Marley has Marley on, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Marley, baby, come on. They have Marley, he has Marley on, and those, those guys are crazy. Like. When you see the Marlins coming, just know you're gonna have to move. So drink of the week, if you people haven't guessed what it is, you need to go rewatch Harry Potter. Drink of the week is butterbeer. I wish I could show you what's in it, but... Wowzers, it's so great. Uh... <laughs> so with that being said, everybody's favorite part of the segment, we're gonna get right into the music. DJ Stupefy. <laughs> 